Welcome back. Well, just 30 minutes southwest of Pittsburgh sits a powerhouse of petals, a fauna, a flora. <laughs> I love that. And a beautiful bouquet just waiting to be picked. It's a greenhouse, a farm, really a gardener's paradise. Yep, and that's where PTL's gardening enthusiast Boaz is this morning. Boaz, we hear you love this spot. It makes a lot of sense because it looks very beautiful out there. So explain to us where you are. We are in McDonald. We're at Bedner's, um, and Bedner's has so much stuff going on. They've got a nursery, they've got a greenhouse, but this summer, what I'm really pumped about is this cut flower garden they have. To tell us more about it is Lauren, who grew all the flowers herself, and they have this cool program where you can come every weekend and pick your own bouquet. That's right. So 11 to 3 every uh, Saturday and Sunday, we can you can come and pick your own flowers. So you like pay at the front. You pay 12 for a small, 25 for a big. You've got yes. you get a mason jar, and then you get to fill it up with flowers. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, let's go fill 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 a bouquet with All flowers. Right. We've got our small bouquet started over here. Yeah. And now we just walk into the field. And also, I, I do want to mention you've got like. Fruits and vegetables you can also pick. Yes, back we've there. got fruits and vegetables that you can pick. We've got tomatoes, peppers, you name it. Okay, back to flowers. Yes, back okay, to flowers. we've got these beautiful purple, pink, orange, and red orbs. So what are these ones? So this is called gumfrina or uh, globe amaranth. I've heard people call it gumdrops before. Okay, yeah. well, that, that makes sense. Yeah, so I probably it's... shouldn't eat this. No, probably not. Okay, and would you say this is a good thing to put in here? Like, what is something to think about when you're trying to assemble a bouquet? This could be helpful for Daisy also. She's getting married soon. I don't know if you want to take some tips. <laughs> so I like having, uh, I usually think about um, uh, the colors that I want to put together, but I like having a lot of different textural elements in there, some spikes, some things for leafy texture, different things to add in to make it more interesting. Okay, and over here, these are amaranth. Yes. Over here, which I, I guess I'd always heard of amaranth because it's like an ancient grain. Yes, it is. But, but it's also this crazy looking sort of Seussian flower. Yeah, it is. We've got it in a couple different colors here. I like this one a lot. We'll put this one in there. How's that? Oh my gosh. I just like love how wild and like yeah. fun this is looking. And so you're sort of trimming off some of those bottom leaves also before yep. you put it in here. Yeah, it's usually a good practice because it keeps the water cleaner um, and then we can just compost it in the in the aisles. And then you can fit more flowers in there too. Yeah, well <laughs> this is like we've already jammed a lot in this mason jar. It's impressive. And one thing I think is cool is like we've got all these things that sort of look like flowers, but then you have all these really textural things like these grasses which just look nuts like what kind of grass is this so this is a grass called frosted explosion i've been trying to put more ornamental grasses in the field this year um, just to add a little bit more texture a little bit uh some things that are a little bit different well let's put some explosion in here yeah. gosh this is like a stunt bouquet now we've yeah, got some grassy explosions nice i love and, it nice and airy i love that and like, let's say I wanted to grow some flowers in my yard next year, which I do. And here's the thing. I'll be honest with you. Every year I grow some flowers. I'll be like, I'll cut these next year. And then I never actually have the heart to cut them because they look so <laughs> nice in my yard. But let's say I did. What would be a good sort of starter flower if you wanted to try growing some cut flowers in your own yard? So actually right behind you, we've got some zinnias. They are super easy. Um, there's a lot of different varieties of cut and come again. You can actually get color, color mixes. It's really easy to start from seed, and um, what do you think? Can we add a zinnia to this? Or? We could add a load of zinnias in. Okay, this. gosh, well, yeah. let's get a zinnia in here. This that's a, awesome. That's a nice one right there. Gorgeous. And so yeah. also one thing, I mean, you're the person who grows all these and you've yep. been growing these in succession, mm -hmm. which seems like it takes a lot of mental capacity to figure <laughs> out because you want to make sure there's something blooming all summer long. Yeah. So uh, a lot of time, a lot of the winter time I spend uh, thinking about what's going in at what time, um, trying to think through like when things are going to be finished. Because well, you said and... those snapdragons, you started in February. Yeah. That's so like crazy. Some things take a long time to establish, other things not so much. The zinnias are really quick to start. Like, yeah. I can start those and they'll be in flower in like maybe six, eight weeks. So they're really fast. Gosh. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, Heather, Daisy, I don't know. Do you have any favorite flowers? Is there anything we should pick for you while we're out here? Oh, I, honestly, they are so pretty, all of them. I, I really love dahlias right now, but what you're showing, the zinnias are so pretty. We love everything there. And of course, daisies, but I have to admit my favorite are orchids, which are really difficult oh, yeah. to take care of. But that bouquet is so beautiful. Thank yeah. you so much, Boaz. Well, Bedner's Greenhouse and Arm is in McDonald, and they specialize in homegrown happiness.